Hey guys, Gary Campbell back again with uh, part three of the ongoing Acorn Router project. Uh, the objectives for this are the same as before, so I'm not going to go over them in detail just to let you know that the first two items are basically done. Uh, first, we'll go here and take a look around the control box, and you'll notice I added a heavier power cord and a Roxtex fixture and that fixture allows individual wiring to be put through uh, that wouldn't fit through my conduit. Uh, I also added a case fan inlet on the bottom and may have to add another one later and then of course uh, I had to sticker up the outside so let's go inside the case I'll reset the tripod. Okay we're back inside the uh, Acorn control box have the uh camera up on the tripod so I can poke my fingers in here and I'm gonna go over first the general components uh, relocated the VFD my drives came in the CSD 1008 uh, lead shine closed loop for the XYZ and I retained one of the original 8 amp drives for the B or the rotary axis. Power switch in the back, e-stop switch in the front, case fan, acorn board, 24 and 5 volt power supply for the acorn, 70 volt power supply for the drives. EMI filter for the VFD, ground lugs, circuit breaker, Replace the contactor for the VFD. New contactor for the power supply drives. And some terminal blocks to make sure that I could get all my connections that I needed. This little relay board up here, which I'm waiting on another one to come in for the rotary axis. Uh, I'm going to do a separate sheet on that. Uh, showing you how I use it to change from... Uh, 5 volt signal to be appropriate for the acorn uh, 24 volt inputs so uh, a little bit I'll go over the power power cord comes in two lines in through the through the circuit breaker set of power to the VFD contactor and to the motor power supply contactor so these are set up that when the power switch is turned on the only thing that's powered up is the power supply for the uh, acorn which puts out 25 or 24 and 5 volts but the 5 volt is run through this contactor right here and does not get turned on until after the beagle bone has booted so these are independently controlled contactors here individual wiring for each drive and let's go over the connections of the drives the logic signals for the drives are here they're a four wire shielded and the shields are grounded to the case on this end motor and encoder connectors and one of the things I like about these motors or connector kits is that they do not have DB9 cables or connector ends on them they can wire in so that means I was able to custom cut the lengths and have them fit uh, inside the case I'm leaving the everything loose on the rotary axis for right now I don't have it enabled or am I uh, hooking it up it was all wired as per the revised schematic for the lead shine drives with the dual voltage power supply and again using an okay fault out fault okay fault out to not apply the 5 volt power until after the beagle bone had had booted notice that uh, we'll go into the VFD and I w was able to use the original VFD wire it did have a shield in it and I was able to get the shield hooked to the ground on this end and on the other end the fourth pin did not have continuity with the case so that shield wire was grounded to the case clamp 
on the wire connector. So everything in here is rewired. We've got our spindle on off logic. We've got our, uh, our the spindle forward logic is here and the zero to 10 volts with the for the speed control is here and you'll notice that I, I started out with this 24 gauge wiring uh, for the speed control and it was fluctuating I was having issues with it so I replaced it with a larger 18 gauge wire my terminal block down here these wires here are my inputs and they simply go over to inputs one through four I've got my X, Y, Z limit and my tool measure switch here and then I'm using uh, alarms from the drives so the alarms from these three closed loop drives go through this relay board and if any of one of those trigger it breaks this circuit which fires off my input 5 which is a drive OK uh, setting in on the Acorn board I think that just about does everything that I have but if you guys have any questions uh, post them on this, this thread and I'll do whatever I can do to answer them. In closing I'd like to add a few notes here make sure that if you're going to do something like this that you plan ahead pre-position your components before you drill them and mount them permanently follow the schematics or ask for help with them Replace any low-grade components you have in the beginning. It'll be much easier than doing it at the end. Take your time, and when you're wiring it, wire up one section and test each one as you go. That's it for now.